I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and you just purchased the Mila Complete C3 Kalima Canister. I hope you're excited. I'm pretty excited. This is one of my favorite models. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you everything that should be included in your box. Then I'm going to walk you through how to set it up and how to use your Kalima. So get ready. everything that should be included in your box. You should have your canister body, your wand, your handle, your hard flooring attachment, your carpeting attachment, and your hose. The three specialty cleaning attachments that you're probably wondering where they are. Well, I can find the button. They are right here inside the body of your canister. So why don't you just do a quick once over, make sure that all of these components are present. If not, this is the time to reach out to us, either phone, chat, or email. But let's just take this time to look over, make sure everything is present, and then I'm gonna teach you how to install everything, set it all up, and then how to use it. Okay, so now that we've verified that all of the contents are present, you're probably wondering what they really are. So let's talk a little bit more in depth about what each of these things are that are included in your Kalima. So this is your carpeting attachment. It does have a spinning brush roll on the underside of it. And this carpeting attachment will be able to clean any low to medium pile carpeting. Just note that there is a spinning brush roll component in this head. So when your vacuum is on and you attach this to the end of your wand, those brushes are gonna be spinning. This is your hard flooring attachment. There are bristles of varied lengths on the underside of it. The reason being is it's great at picking up debris, getting in the cracks and crevices of any tile or hard flooring. It's so good on pet hair. I have a dog and this head is just my lifesaver. And you, all you have to do now is vacuum your hard surfaces and then mop them. It's a huge time saver, no more sweeping. I can't even describe to you how much that has helped my life. I don't like sweeping. And then this is your handle. So this handle will attach to your wand and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, but there's a little kind of a um, lever on here, like a little release. I don't really know, slide? I'm sorry, I don't know the correct terminology. Anyway, you can open it or close it. If you open it, that's gonna let air out. And if you close it, that'll mean that you have the max suction flowing to your flooring attachments. You're probably wondering why did Mila include this? Well, a lot of people don't like to bend down or if you have leg problems or lower back problems and you can't really lift your leg up to push the plus or minus button on the front of your machine to adjust your suction levels, this is a really nice feature for this um, particular situation. I do this because I know exactly how much air to let out to vacuum this one specific area rug in my home. It's like the weirdest texture and it has to be, I have to let this out about three quarters of the way open so I can um, clean that one area rug and then I just slide it closed and then I clean the rest of my hard flooring and, and area rugs in my home. It's very weird. So you might be able to play around with this, see if um, adjusting this um, for your airflow is easier than choosing from a, a different suction setting on the front of your machine. Nice to have some options. And this is your telescoping wand. And so how you are gonna telescope this is, I don't know if you call this a sleeve, but you're gonna squeeze it and you are going to be able to extend your wand to any desired length. This would be great if you're really tall or very short, or if you're trying to get up in the ceiling, it's really nice to have a telescoping wand. Um, I love it because you can get under the beds with your flooring attachments. Who knew? There are three cleaning attachments on the inside of your canister. And um, those are your dusting brush, your crevice tool, and your upholstery tool. If I can find the button. There we go. So make sure that all these are present. And then now I'm going to show you how to assemble all of this and how to change your bags and filters. Lima takes GN bags, and those bags have a blue clip on them. Here's some examples. So how to open the body of your canister. I'm gonna angle this towards you a little bit. There's like this little lever, and you're going to pinch it and pull it away from you. You are gonna be pulling it up. I'm just doing this opposite. So this is your bag clip. 
This clip holds your vacuum bag in place and it holds it at the correct location so that all the debris goes from your flooring attachments through your wand and your hose straight into the bag and then fold through the full filtration system. So this bag clip is very important and this is our number one replacement. People just pull this whole thing out and then they wonder why their, their vacuum fills up with debris. So make sure you're leaving this bag clip inside of the vacuum at all times. How to take out your bag, you're just gonna kinda, there's no pretty way to do this, kind of pull it out. And then this is the collar of the bag clip that should be attached to the bag. And then this is your bag clip that should always remain inside the body of your canister. Don't ever take this out, I promise. <laughs> but if you do and you can't get it back in, we can help you troubleshoot it or we have bag clips, so don't worry. There's um, two filters inside of your Kalima. I'm gonna angle this down. This is your motor filter. There's a little pull down grate and there's a spongy filter in there. That's your motor filter. That filter should be changed every four vacuum bags or every one box. If you purchased a performance pack, you change it every four bags. If you purchased a box of bags, you're gonna change it when you get to the fourth bag in your box whichever method is easiest for you i just leave my filters in the box of bags and then i change them and then throw everything out at the same time but to each their own whatever you choose to do um this is your hepa filter this rectangle this white rectangular little thing right here that's your hepa filter and there's probably going to be like a little plastic thing attached to it just pull that off press that green circle that has the little triangle in it that's gonna activate your HEPA filter. And there's a time release strip on your HEPA filter. And it's gonna start as a white horizontal line and from left to right, it will start to fade red. When it's almost all the way filled with red, that's the time to change your HEPA filter. But like, I don't know if you're like me, um, if you don't <laughs> kind of forget to change or check your HEPA filter, um, they say check it every six months. I just check it every single time I change my bag just so I don't forget because I can't remember, you know, six, you know, what happened six months previous. So I just check it every time I change my bag. So, but to each their own, you always put a reminder in your phone or on your calendar. Um, HEPA filters are good for about a year and a half to two years, but that's going to be dependent upon how often you're cleaning. So if you're an avid cleaner, you clean every single day, you're gonna use your HEPA filter a lot faster than somebody who's only cleaning once or twice per week or per month. So that's when the time release strip is gonna come in really handy, it's gonna help you. So to put your bag back in the body of your canister, you're gonna slide your clip, and there's nice little arrows in there. And when it clips in, you're gonna hear a little snap, and then you can just tug it to make sure it's securely in there. And then this is normal. You're just gonna fold your bag in the canister. And the reason the bag is a little bit bigger, you're probably wondering why is that? It's so it can fill to the full capacity of your canister. So you get more bang for your buck. I love it. So now that we have learned how to change our bags and our filters, now let's flip your vacuum over, put the wheel side down, and then you're gonna see some buttons and some silver buttons as well. So plus or minus, that's to adjust your suction. Normally all of the Mila's come on minimum suction, so make sure when you turn your vacuum on, you turn it all the way to max. When you're on all the way on max, you're probably gonna want to clean all of your hard flooring and most of your carpeted surfaces on max. That's what I personally do, you get the best clean. But if you have any delicate area rugs, definitely go down a couple notches in suction just so you're not damaging the fibers of any um, delicate area rugs or carpeting that you may have. Um, you have your cord winder and your power button is the button with the circle and the line through it. That's the Mila power button. And then your, the cord winder button is to wind your cord inside the body of your canister. So once you have your canister laying down like this, you're going to take your hose and this part of the hose is going to connect to the, the body of your canister. So you're going to squeeze those two little things that are sticking out, put it in, wait for it to click. And then you are going to take your hose and you're going to attach it to your handle. And there's no pretty way of doing this. So everything just clicks into place. Then you're gonna take your handle and you're gonna connect it to your telescoping wand. Again, wait for it to click. 
everything clips with Mila. I really like it. And then you're going to attach your flooring attachments. So pick which attachment you want to use first. I always like to show people that you do have this option. It's a really nice feature. There is another reservoir on the sides of your machine as well for you to attach this um, attachment or that one um, to the side of your machine. This is how I personally store my machine just because it's really easy. And um, But that's all user preference. You're going to figure out what works best for you. So to take off your flooring attachments, there's a little button on the front part of it. You're just going to squeeze that, pull it off. And then this is your carpeting attachment. You're going to do the same thing. It's going to click in. And then you have the nice feature of these air driven attachments to, again, store them just like this. It's a really great feature. So another thing, oh, let me show you how fast. Another thing that I like to show people is you can take off your handle and then the three cleaning attachments that are stored on the inside of your canister you can attach them right here. So this is really great. You can um, use this to clean your car, windowsills, drawers, anytime where you don't need the full length of your telescoping one, but you really still need that good cleaning. Um, it's a really nice feature to know that you can attach your flooring attachments. Even if you want to do this, or if you're doing stairs, you can attach your, um, car your carpeting attachment to the base of your, your wand as well. So, or base of your handle, sorry, as well. Just a really nice feature to know. Nobody told me that. I just kind of learned that with um, trial and error. So this is the Mila Complete C3 Kalima, and I just showed you everything that is involved in um, use and setting up your machine. So now, don't go too crazy, but now is the time to go and clean and try this out and get a real good feel for this machine. And if you have any questions, we are available through live chat on our website, phone or email. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. I promise we've heard any and all questions and we're all very happy to answer any and all questions that you have. Um, welcome to the Mila family. We're so excited on the purchase of your Mila Kalima. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and happy vacuuming.